Here at home, the Capuchin Soup Kitchen has been assisting Metro Detroiters in need for decades now. And for much of that time, a vacant building near their campus has been really a dangerous eyesore. However, as our Jamie Edmonds reports, that structure is coming down. Yet another abandoned building in the city of Detroit is coming down. This one means a whole lot to a whole lot of people. Father Larry Weber takes one last look at 2136 Mount Elliott before it's demolished by the city. Taking this down really is a sign of life for the city and for our neighborhood. The house sits just a block from the Capuchin Soup Kitchen and the Solanus Casey Center. We want them to see the best side of it, not this kind of decay. And so we, we want them to see the great love, the, the, the deep faith and love of the people of Detroit when they do come here. As of July 2015, the Land Bank Authority has demolished nearly 6,000 homes just like this one with expectations to demolish 7,000 more. Marshall Bullock II is the city's community affairs coordinator. He explains their strategy. The main streets like this, Mount Elliott, or on the west side, Schaefer or Myers, if we can get those things down, people don't have to see it when they're passing through. And it, it kind of lifts your spirits when you drive through later and you don't see it. A recent study by the Skillman Foundation and Rock Ventures says the properties around demolition have increased exponentially. It estimated an increase in total home equity of more than $200 million following the blight demolitions. For Father Larry and the Capuchins, it's not so much about dollars and cents as it is about community well-being. And he praises the city for its efforts. In Detroit, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4.